A Bergen County hospital will soon have a new home. Next month, Valley Hospital in Ridgewood will move to a different location. CBS 2's Christine Sloan got a tour of the new facility. Governor Phil Murphy joining hospital officials and local and state lawmakers for a ribbon cutting ceremony for the Valley Hospital's new location in Paramus. The state of the art facility opens to patients on Sunday, April 14th. They're going to be receiving a level of care that sets the standard across the state and maybe even across the country. The project coordinator says they sought staff input planning the 370 bed hospital. Emergency exam room, she says, guided by COVID 19. 19 lessons, sliding doors instead of curtains to prevent germs, and more oxygen outlets for critical care. The facility also has private neonatal intensive care units where parents can spend the night with their babies. The single occupancy patient rooms come with many gadgets, including a stock room accessible from the outside. Any kind of equipment that the staff might need for the patient. One of the more interesting features of the adult care rooms is AI technology, using that sensor to prevent patient falls. What it does is it does it makes a stick figure out of the patient, and it will alarm the nurses if it detects movements that are indicating getting out of the bed or a potential fall. The hospital planning the move from Ridgewood to Paramus for a year, even doing a test run to make sure patients are safely transported. Well, we have about 60, 65 ambulances planned for that morning. We'll be safely treating all patients uh, on both campuses until the very last patient leaves. The Ridgewood campus isn't going anywhere. Officials say it will be used as an outpatient facility for services like imaging. The new Paramus Hospital comes with more outdoor space and features these Stefan nap panels that once graced the iconic Alexander's department store. In Paramus, New Jersey, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News.